trying to be known for like eating toast, but I feel like I'm heading down a dangerous path. Hello friends. In my video three weeks ago, I happened to eat toast on like three separate occasions and somebody commented, you should have just called this video toast. No, I won't be known as the toast girl. I won't do it. Today we have a bit of a different video. I was just gonna like have a chat with you guys. I wanna just like sit down, have a chat, tell you some things, give you a bit of a life update on what I've been doing and what I wanna be doing on all the things. And I was gonna draw on some sneakers. These have been sitting in here for like a couple days now. It's time to draw on them. Ugh. I'm not usually like a big fan of Air Force Ones, so I feel like if I ruin them, I'll like, be able to sleep at night. But I feel like I'll still try and make them cool. Like if they look cool at the end, I'll wear them. My mum once told me that there was like this superstition thing that's like if you put new shoes on the table, then like the person you love will run away. Like a little bit dark. I hate super superstitious. <laughs> I swear I never have problems pronouncing words until I turn the camera on and then I'm like, I, I don't actually know. I hate superstitious stuff because it's BS, right? Like it's, no one actually believes in it. But there's always that little voice in the back of your head that's like, eh, well, it could be true. So I'm gonna actively ignore that today. I'm taking out the laces because I don't like this metal thing and it's gonna be easy to draw on them. And I also have some other lace options if we want. So that's fun. And I'm gonna put these like minty green ones in. I'm really into like pastels at the moment. Pastel colors. The reason I wanted to do this is because I saw this picture on Instagram and they looked really cute. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. I've also been kind of wanting to do like a bit of a sit down like chat video anyway. Cause I really enjoy watching those, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. I have like kind of a plan of what I want to talk about, but not really. So I guess I'll just kind of start rambling. I feel like I'm just gonna kind of wing it a bit too. Like I haven't really planned what I want to do around them. I'm just gonna like, just gonna wing it. I don't know if this is like too early in my career to be like doing one of these. I'm like, I don't really know if people care about me this much that I can just sit down and talk about myself and everyone's gonna be like, yeah, I'll listen to that. But because this is a bit of like an, a life update, I'm hoping one day I can look back at this. I'm quite a, like, I'm quite a reflective person. So I feel like I haven't like sat down and probably like spoken in my videos. Like I know I'm vlogging and like doing stuff. I've done like a Q and A, but I feel like there's stuff that I just kind of want to talk about. Maybe in a year I'll just like respond to this and be like, Hey, you've grown up. <laughs> and I want to be like honest. Like I want to be like an honest person because I feel like that's why I started liking YouTube in the first place. As a kid, I was like so used to just seeing like really polished and like commercial media where everything was perfect, kind of just like a bit of a bullshit show. Nothing that they say is live is live. Like it's all just planned. I know this because I've done like time working in traditional media, which is why YouTube's so fun because it's just like people being people like, Jenna Marbles and stuff, Kingsley and the Vlogbrothers. I still watch the Vlogbrothers, to be honest, like John and Hank Green. I like watch every one of their videos, I love them. <laughs> I genuinely think they've like made me a better person. <laughs> I was watching YouTube like on and off all through school, but I think like when I properly started getting fully invested in people was probably like around my year 12, which is not a good time to start properly being invested in anything but your exams. At school, I like didn't, care for a long time like i think i was just good enough that i could like get through and get good grades and i didn't have to care so i was like this is sick i don't really have to try very hard and i'll just like be fine and then it came to my final year of school where the exams are important everything's important and i still couldn't care i was just like i didn't see the point in it i was like this whole thing is dumb i don't want to like conform to rules that society has made for me like bleh. almost in protest not caring and then all of a sudden i had four weeks for my exam and i was like hmm Maybe I kind of want to do a little bit well. It's so easy at school and especially like in your final year to be like not worth the stress Like, why am I here? I can't even like it's just annoying and dumb which like I definitely understand that feeling But I do think there's some value in being like I can't do anything about like I'm here I may as well just like do my best because I remember I was in like the worst habit of just not studying and then my dad like sat me down and he was like One day you're gonna get asked how you did at school No matter how smart you think you are, whatever number you tell that person is like what they're gonna think of you No one cares what you could have done, they care what you have done And I was like True Did my exams, one subject I knew that I killed was media All through the year I was like this is my subject, I own this subject, like I'm gonna, I'm the best at it <laughs> So arrogant, but it was true. Like I knew that I was like the best in the class. I stand by that it's because of YouTube. I genuinely think I was watching so much YouTube that when it came to like, I had to make a short film and I was like, I know exactly how to do this because I'll just make it like a YouTube video. And my film got into this thing called Top Screen, which is like where they select like the best, the best like media films in the state. And then they show it at this like cinema and then people come and watch and like vote for the, their favorite one. My film ended up coming first in that. So in Australia, you get an ATAR that can go up to 99.95 is the highest you can get. And I got a 95.4. So I'm like, 
Definitely fluked that one. That's my school story. But I would say that like the biggest thing I got out of school was just being like, it's better to choose to care about things because it's easy to not care about things. Like if you don't care about things, then like nothing matters. And that was the point. I always like to think of Christmas as a good analogy for this. <laughs> I'm always like, we could all just not care about Christmas. Like no one cares and then it's not special and then it's just another day. But we all collectively, granted like depending on your religion, us little humans, pretty cute, decide that this is like an important day and they choose to care about it and they put in effort and they make food and they decorate the place and they dress up and it ends up usually being like a really nice fun time. And that's what school was to me. It was like, I didn't care and the whole thing was poop and then I chose to care at some point and that's like when I got the most out of it. Did I actually just compare school to Christmas? And it's like helped me like, but if you do it, you're like, whoa, like I'm really, like that was really good of me. Like I'm pretty good for doing that. <laughs> as much as I think that school can be really pointless, I think that there are lessons to come out of it that aren't like maths, cause fuck algebra. Okay, here's what they look like so far. It's not that impressive, but we're gonna keep going. I think I'm gonna do like stripes in these two blues like in this section. So I definitely wanted to do YouTube for a long time. I knew that it was like one of my like secret little things that I wanted to do. It's only cool if you are successful at it. <laughs> it's like being a DJ or something. Like it's not cool if you're trying to become a DJ, but it's cool if you're a DJ. I think I started YouTube in like a really weird way. Everyone around me is like in the business. And I was just so scared of like what my friends would think of me because I was like, that's so embarrassing. Like it's gonna take a long time for me to get any kind of following. So like the thought that everyone would be like, oh, she's like really trying hard to do that. It scared me. But now because like my friends are the space and obviously Fresh is my boyfriend and he plays Fortnite and he has a big following on social media and on YouTube and everything. So I knew that when I started, I would probably have some people watching me because of that, but it did kind of scare me that that was like not earned, you know? I'm very grateful for it, but definitely like had it handed to me. And that audience is of course like younger boys, <laughs> I think that are like, the like Fresh and like Fortnite and all that kind of is really scared to lose that audience because I was like, it's an audience and it takes so long for other people to like gain any kind of following at all. I think in the last few weeks I've been like kind of doing more vlogs and like fashion stuff. Like those are the kinds of videos that I like watching. Like I really love fashion. Like if I could choose a direction for my channel to go down, it would be something to do with fashion. I know it doesn't always look like I'm into fashion. I think like obviously I have a lot to learn. It's like literally just an interest, but that's exciting to me that like I might do kind of stuff more like that. And I think a lot of people that watch me because of Fresh like want me to play Fortnite and stuff, which I mean, I like actually think that's fun and a lot of people like want to see fresh on my channel and stuff and I think he will obviously he's like a big part of my life I think I kind of want to get I'm hoping at least for myself that in like a year or so when I watch this back I can be like hey people come to my channel to see me I've always been like a very goals driven person and I've always always wanted to be like successful in my own right even to the point that I was like I don't think I could be with someone that's more successful than me it's <laughs> like a weird ego thing or something I definitely wasn't expecting to meet someone like fresh and then that's happened and it's great and it's like the best thing ever I definitely don't think of fresh's success as like mine at all I think it just translates in like some views and like subs and stuff that I get I'm happy if anyone likes the videos I I certainly don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm aware that like I have a lot and way to go in terms of like growing an audience that I have like attracted. I think that looks kind of cool. Maybe. I don't know. Being in a relationship is definitely like a very, very, very new thing for me. I'm like quite an independent person. Like I like being by myself and I like doing things by myself. And it's also like my first real relationship. Like I've never really been in like a serious relationship before. Okay, next I think I'm gonna do little like flowers like that. Hello. I'm just finishing recording. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. I have. Halloween party that I'm meant to be at. But I'm not. What is with me and just having Halloween parties I'm meant to be at? Okay, here's the situation. There's a party that started three minutes ago that I'm meant to be at and I don't have an outfit. I still wanna like get into like a better routine. I went for a run this morning though. That was good. Cause I like, I'm not joking when I say I haven't exercised since the start of quarantine. My gym shut and I was like, Oh, well, looks like I can't, you know, look after myself. Okay, what do we think? Like, it's not awful. I don't know if it's great. <laughs> I'm really stressed about this party I need to be at. For those who watched my last vlog, this is the one that I'm going is Woody <laughs> too from Toy Story. It's kind of a weird color to put there, but I kind of like it. I'm just gonna finish it off with like an orange like line around here. And then that should be enough. I tend to go too far. Like I get excited and I'm like, well, just, let's just go for it. And then I regret everything. I don't know if there's anything I can do to make the purple flowers feel better. I don't love them. I like shaded it this side with like kind of a light yellow color on both of them, but I kind of want to keep this side white. I don't know if my artistic direction is failing me, but we're gonna persevere. I actually kind of like it with the orange outline. Okay. Okay. We'll put on the laces and see how it looks. Which color laces do we want? Green. See, this is like a nice, but it's just very loud. I feel like these are more like 
Reserved. But that's so fun. Reserved. Fun. I feel like I have to go with these ones. It's like a mint green. I think it's still a nice color. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so they're with the laces. I think I should stop. But I don't wanna. Oh. Mm. Done. Done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Well, they're a lot. They're definitely like a lot. But I'm actually kind of happy with them. I'm gonna try them on now. And we'll see what they look like on. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't actually mind them. <laughs> I think considering how they like could have turned out, they're like not too bad. Hopefully that wasn't too like <laughs> boring for you guys. I know I just sat on the floor and like spoke to you guys the whole time. But I feel like that's kind of fun sometimes. Hopefully for you guys too, but it's kind of fun just to like sit down and chat for a bit. I have to get ready for a Halloween party now. So I'm gonna do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want. Bye.